I'm going to use my number stencil because the numbers really add a nice compositional element to my piece. And when you do this, you want to line your stencil up, and I like to do the bottom part with the side of the board, and really hold it firmly because if you don't, this could wobble and you're going to get um, kind of globs of the paste, and you don't want to do that. So we'll leave that there for a moment, and we're going to load up our wedge. And now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use a spatula to load up your squeegee because this is going to give you a nice thin layer and it's also going to allow you to control it a little bit. So line this up and like I said, hold it firmly and then push your paste into those numbers. It's kind of like frosting a cake. And you want it to, to be pretty thin, so just go over it a couple times and then wipe your excess off because you'll be able to use that paste again and then lift away. And we'll put that aside. Now, I'm going to add a bit more texture using my catalyst wedges. And the nice thing about the wedges is they come in a variety of textures. So really, you can add anything from circular texture to a more um, geometric texture. Your choices are really endless. And what I do is, again, I use my spatula and I just load this up. And I like to start it on the wedge because I think it gives you more control. And I'm just going to put a little bit on and then pull it down. And then we'll put a little more on here. And pull down again. And we're just doing a real random texture on the side. And I think we'll go through it this way. So it kind of gives you a nice hatch mark, and it's a little bit of a graphic element, but at the same time when it dries, it will be a nice dimensional element as well. And then you could also use um, the brush that looks just like, oh, let's say a miniature fork. You can put a little bit right on the board and then drag through this. And the nice thing about this tool is you can take the excess off as you do it. So we'll just pull through, and again, I think we'll do a little bit right here. Now, if you want to create some linear features to your piece, you can load up your wedge with a little bit of the paste. And then you could go up at the top and just kind of go from the side onto your board. And then that gives you a nice line. And then you'd clean it up by going right back up. And then we'll do a couple more. And you can kind of manipulate it just by moving that wedge. 